Let's get moving before they blow that treasure to bits. Oh, it's not making out. <laughs> hey, wait. You think she was right, though? About what? About Rafe wanting to draw you out. As long as he doesn't get the upper hand, who cares? Doesn't matter. That was a very interesting conversation between Nadine and Rafe. And from that little back and forth, that looks like Nadine's running the show. What annexed area you suppose they were talking about? It's got to be some side chamber because we're the only ones here. And to Nadine's point about Rafe drawing Nate out, I think it's true. You know, just from kind of what we've heard from Nate speaking very shortly to Sam about Rafe and what happened after, quote unquote, Sam's death. Rafe doesn't really know what he's doing, you know, and then the prison flashback scenes where Sam and Drake are speaking Latin and Rafe has no idea what's going on and he doesn't really know what to do. You could tell he was just kind of the money behind the whole operation, not the will how, not the thinking, not the expert. And Nate and Sam, well, especially Nate, are experts. And I think Maybe he did want to draw Nate out in the back of his mind because he knows he's going to need Nate in the long run to find Captain Avery's treasure. Uh, a little too high to jump up there unless you got a trampoline. <laughs> Left it in my backyard. Oh, darn. <laughs> Hey, do you, do you have a trampoline? I wish. Hang on. Oh, look at you. One crate coming up. Thank you, good sir. Huh. Well, we're definitely getting closer to the cathedral. Oh, well, what's left of it? Gotta say, this is far more sophisticated than I was expecting. Me too. Must have taken years to build. I spared no expense to hide 400 million bucks. Here goes nothing! It looks like we need to move that crate right there that we're hooked on to. Yeah, looks like we gotta go take this crate over to the far left and then maybe swing over to the other side of the bridge that's broken off. Good thing you're not heavier than the crate. Okay. Made it. What's the plan? I'm working on it. We can hook our ropes onto this. That'll work. I guess that's not low enough. We got to get lower for momentum, I think. Yeah, that is not happening. Okay, we keep checking ourselves into that little outcrop. Here we go. This has got to be low enough for the momentum to make this jump. Oh, get out of here. That was such a freaking wimp-ass jump. Come on, Drake. Needs bridges. Oh no, I I wouldn't mind bridges per se. Well, can't go through there. So how do we get through? Over here. Look at that. 
this place wasn't completely falling apart, we'd probably be trapped again. Nathan, look around you. Holy crap. This must have been another test, but it all just crumbled into the ocean. Well, I guess the test now is... How the hell do we get to the other side? I'm not sure about that, Sam. Maybe hop down here. And there were some gears in the rocks over to my left, which made me think there was like kind of a balancing pulley system right there to my left. And what do we got here? We got a letter. A dead pirate. Let it be known that I, Thomas Howard, captain of the Dauntless, am a gullible fool. It started with the cross, a cryptic message from my old compatriot with a vague promise of paradise. I was skeptical, but the thought of living the remainder of my days at home, wondering what might have been, was too much to bear, and one does not ignore a letter from the King of Pirates. I survived being marooned off the coast of Madagascar. I survived the attack of the East India Man, Pembroke, but I will not survive this. My leg is broken, and my crew, too cowardly to set foot in these damned caverns, cannot hear my calls for help. Who could have imagined my deeds would bring me here to die an ingullible death so far from home? May God himself curse you, Henry Avery, and may my ghost haunt you for the rest of your days. Well, that little letter right there clarifies it. There were other pirates here that are doing the same tests, but who passed and who failed? That really safe-looking wooden seesaw thing might do the trick. <sighs> Worth a shot. What was that? That sounded like... I think Rafe's men are close. That sounded like a blast. And we are going to hop on this seesaw. And we're going to have to have like a counterweight or something. We're going to have Sam step on the back. There goes nothing. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, this is going to be perfect. Sam steps on the back and we'll go right up there. Come on, Sam. This isn't rocket science. Step on the back of here. Take the night to stop. You won't make it. You're too low. Thanks for letting me know, Sam. Why don't you hop on the back here, smart guy? I'll weigh it down. Go. <laughs> Made it. All right. Uh, now, what about me? Right. Uh, just let me look around. Cool. Cool. I'll just hang out here. Check out all that machinery. You know, it really makes you appreciate everything that goes into making one of these death traps. <laughs> Don't be glib. Any luck? Yeah, give me a sec. Okay, I found something to weigh down the seesaw. You sure that'll work? Heavier than I am. Yeah, I don't know about that. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Hey, nice air time. Uh, oh, crap. I got you. There, thanks. There's another test down. Yeah, at this point, I'd rather take another death trap. At this point, I hope we're at the end of this thing. Come on. Okay, getting a bit dramatic with the statues here. Seriously. Why decorate a treasure burial site? Or build elaborate tests? I mean, either we're missing something, or Avery was really, really bored. Or maybe Avery and his crew didn't want any old person to be able to come through here, whereas his crew would know the answers to all the tests. Ugh. I'll never get used to this. Another cross. <laughs> At least this one has some jewels on it, right? Whoa, whoa, don't touch it. What? Why? <laughs> Look at it. It's the only valuable thing we've seen in this cave. Right. This is another test. Read. Yeah. Or lack thereof. Okay. So. It's, it's got to be the coins. Right. Are you sure about this? Oh, pretty sure. Pretty sure we'll have to do. Right, just, just one now. Great, I got it. Please don't be a trap. <laughs> you 
recognize the shape? It's Madagascar. Look. Star right here. It's King's Bay. Yes, it is. <laughs> Son of a bitch. He's screwing with this. What are you talking about? Avery. He's screwing with this. This was supposed to be it, so where's the goddamn treasure, huh? I mean, Kings Bay, great. Well, what's next? North Pole? Outer space? Nathan. For those who prove worthy, paradise awaits. He, he was recruiting. Who was recruiting? Avery was recruiting. Recruiting for what? <laughs> You gentlemen are very, very noisy. Guns on the floor. Slowly. Must have you from last time. Yeah, throwing me out a window didn't do it for you? Rafe. Rafe, come in. I'm at the graveyard. Nadine, hey, we're here. Yeah, I'm looking at them right now. What? Where are you? Come back to the cathedral. Follow the holes. I'm on my way. And for God's sakes, don't shoot him yet. <laughs> Not want to hurry then. King's Bay. Yeah, but, uh, where in King's Bay? You'll need that cross over there to figure it out, but there's only two people that can tell you how to use it. Let me guess. You two. I'm gonna leave it to Rafe. You're gonna be waiting a long time. Sorry, boys. I'm not here to negotiate. Bring me the crucifix. It's not a crucifix. What? Well, technically, a crucifix refers to cross that. You know what? Never mind. Well, we almost got Nadine, but somehow she slipped out of there, and this whole place is coming down. Time to climb, Drake. Let's go. This place is crumbling. Uh-oh, Leaning Tower of Pisa. Where are we going? We're not going that way! Hitting him with the Superman punch! Nadine's men are pretty loyal, staying behind like this to fight us with this whole place coming down. Putting them down quick with the headshots. Let's roll, Sam. Never mind, do not roll, Sam. We are not going that way. What's the plan? I'm working on it. We gotta go up to get out! the wrong button <laughs> I did not meant to hit circle I meant to hit X what was I thinking
Oh no, that's oh that's a shotgun, dude. And we are so low. Stay behind cover. Recover. That body slam was sick. We're still a sliver though, and we're dead. Here comes shotgun guy. We gotta take him out quick. And we got him with the headshot, dude, right away. This game's shooting is way better, and guys are actually consistently dying when shooting him in the head. I remember the old games, man. One through three. I'd be getting headshots, and dudes take like four or five shots. Is Sam gonna finally get a kill? Another one? No, he's not. I'll come clean him up, Sam. Don't worry. We might have to count that as Sam's second kill. I only kneecapped him. I only shot him once. Sam was beating him down. I think I'm going to give that kill to Sam. And I assisted. That's two. We gotta take that dude out as quickly as possible. He's just spraying, and we got a shotgun guy. Oh, we got him somehow. I don't even know the hip fire headshot. Okay, Sam just said he got one. That's three. I guess Sam got that guy on the right. I didn't even witness it, but it don't matter. It still counts. That's three, Sam. Doing work. I'm not even gonna try and take him out from here. Let's shade step up. Combat roll time. I mean, I don't have any dynamite, so we can't just bomb him out of there. We're gonna have to sneak up on him. Yeah, yeah, focus your fire on Sam, buddy. Is there like a step up to him? I guess we're gonna have to climb. Oh, there's a guy right there. I didn't even see him. Holy moly, there's a group of dudes. There's like five guys over here. This might have been a bad decision. Heads up, there's another guy. Where did you come from? I'm a sliver. Oh, am I alive? Oy. Combat roll. Combat roll, Nate. Yo, combat roll. Oh, we rehealed. Oh, there's dynamite behind me. Nate. I'm like glitched into the cover. Thank you. Get to this dynamite. Dynamite time, Lob City. Let's get up to the big gun and start mowing the rest of these guys down. Done wasting ammo. We're coming, buddy. What? Nate's been missing some makeable jumps. Dude didn't need his Wheaties before this trip to Scotland. Up there. 
going in with a sniper rifle. What is this right now? I'm five for five. This streak is insane. I'm the worst sniper ever. Then all of a sudden I'm godlike. Put the cheat codes in. Oh, there we go. There's one missed shot. Okay. Back to reality. There's the old me. There we go. That's that's more like it. That's the usual usual aiming with a sniper. I can't see shit! Just keep heading down until we hit the water! When Sully said that, I thought he was being sarcastic. He definitely was. Does Sam really think that Sully wasn't being sarcastic? Doesn't Scotland rarely have good weather? I don't know though. What are you talking about, Sam? This would be so dope. It's awesome. That was a 
close one, huh? They shot up my goddamn plane, mate. We're fine, thanks. How soon can you get us to Madagascar? No treasure, then. Not yet. I don't know what you're talking about. Look, we're rich. Jesus. Suppose it's a start. Do you think the rest is in Madagascar? Well, there was a chamber back there with a giant map of Madagascar on the floor, so... Yeah, it's probably there. This is beginning to smell a whole lot like wild goose, kid. Look, the treasure was never in Scotland, okay? Then what was the point of all that, huh? Of the St. Dismas Look, Cross? it's like I said. I think Avery was recruiting people. The cross was an invitation. The caves were just some sort of uh, initiation. Oh, so we all passed, huh? Congrats, Victor. We get eye patches and parrots now. I don't get it. Why the hell would they go to all that bother just to weed people out? To protect himself. Look, Avery was the most wanted man in the world at that time. He had to enlist people that he could trust in order to keep their treasure secret. What do you mean, their treasure? Just think about this. Thomas, too, was a successful pirate in his own right. What would he possibly stand to gain from joining Avery? I think Avery sent out crosses only to the other wealthy pirates like himself. What if they pooled and hid all their treasure together? That would make the Guns Way Hall look like chump change. Exactly. Oh, holy shit. Okay, so where exactly in Madagascar are we going? Kings Bay. It was an old pirate haven back in uh, Avery's time. I know it well. It's a big place. Anything more specific? Well, that map chamber completely caved in, so, you know. <laughs> what are you laughing about? people who survived the caves, the recruits, what's the one thing they would have left with? There's a volcano on this. There's a volcano near King's Bay, which means we need to get a move on. 